Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and today we are back on my favorite Forza Horizon game ever, Forza Horizon 3. Now, of course, as most of you are aware, this game has been completely delisted from the Xbox and Microsoft Store, along with all of the DLCs. So, for those that have never played or owned Forza Horizon 3 Australia, the only way to get a chance to try out this game is to go out and actually purchase a physical copy. Now, I have been reading on many social media platforms and forums about the state of Forza Horizon 3 and the general consensus is that the title is pretty much dead. It's very difficult to find any game sessions online. So I want to put those statements to the test in today's video and see if Forza Horizon 3 is truly a dead game. Alright, so I have spawned at the Yarra Valley Horizon Festival site and apparently the last time I when I was playing this game, I was in the Nissan GTR Horizon Edition and um, well, I don't need to be here right now, so let's just leave. Man, I just love the color scheme of all of the Horizon Festival sites in this game. I mean, it, it's just, it just feels so much more vibrant. But anyways, to prove that, well, I, I don't know how I can really prove this, but just to let you guys know that right now I am in Australia. It is the 9th of March and it is about 12.30 a.m. in the morning. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get, but let's go online. Now, I've just chosen online adventure because I know if I go more specific, it'll be a lot harder to find a game. So, let's see. Let's see what I can get. This could take a while. Um, fingers crossed that we do at least find a lobby with... Oh my gosh, we found the game already. Let's go. Joining session. Let's see how many players they're going to be. One, two. Oh my gosh, the suspense. Oh my gosh, 11 players? That's nearly a full lobby. I, <laughs> I can't believe this. Dude, this game is far from dead. I just jumped on literally just to see how many players there will be. And here I am with nearly a full lobby. All right, so, oh my gosh, the, the race has just started. So I'm just going to wait until their race finishes and let's join in after and see if we can actually win this race, depending on how many events left there are. All right, I have loaded into a different spot. I believe this is Byron Bay. Um, I didn't get a chance to pick my cars, so I'm assuming they just put me in an S1 lobby. And this is everyone else. Um, so in between the races back in Horizon 3, we actually had to drive from one area or one of the races to the other and this didn't really affect the position of your leaderboard if you will if you were to come first second or third the point of this is to accumulate as many xp as you can uh, before the time limit reaches so as you can see on the top left corner right now i still have a lot of time left but when the first person reaches to that destination that timer will significantly drop down to i think 15 seconds and you have to complete it otherwise you won't get Get all of the XP that you have earned. That's from memory. I'm not exactly sure. Those of you guys who have a better memory than I do, please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, here we pretty much are. We are the first driver to reach our next destination for our next race. And uh, let's see, how many XP did I get? 2,630. Not bad. Now that does go towards my total XP, so it is kind of important to actually uh, get, get some XP during these in-between races, if you will. Horizon presents Woodland Circuit. Man, I kind of do wish that the weather was a lot better because in Horizon 3, when the sun is bright and the sky is clear, the color of the environment is just so vibrant and it really captures the Australian weather, I guess. But um, here's the race, all right. I I think I am in pole position, uh, not well deserved at all. Uh, that usually means that my car is probably a lot slower than some of the other races here, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how we go. I'm in the GTR Horizon Edition. Right now, I am in first place. One thing I did notice in the club tags of all of the other drivers in this race right now, there are a few that are in the same car club together. So maybe I just got kind of lucky that there are a few groups of players on Horizon 3 and we just kind of got matched up together. Or these are potentially the real hardcore players that have stayed on Forza Horizon 3. It could be many things really, but right now I am absolutely absolutely smashing the competition and the guy in second place I'm not sure what car he's actually in but 
yeah, he's he's really falling behind right now. I mean, what do you expect? I've done this race so many times. For those that have subscribed to my channel for quite some time would know that many of my challenges did include a lot of circuit races <laughs> with the race versus road and rice versus road. We are approaching the finish line now. Second place is not even close. I'm sorry, that was a complete wipeout. Max Verstappen, sort of a drive right there. And yeah, if, if you have a look at all of the drivers, many of them actually are quite high level. Um, two of them have the stars, so that means they have max leveled out their accounts. And yeah, the one with the least is 227, which is quite a lot of gameplay still. So these are just the guys that have essentially no life to Horizon 3 and have uh, left staying stuck on Horizon 3. All right, so I've won 12,000 credits for that race. 15,000 XP for coming in first. Right now, I am in ninth position. And the first is at 36,000. How am I going to catch that? And he's in the Ghibli. Maserati Ghibli 14. All right. That's, that's the guy to get. All right, we are driving to our next event, guys. And you see the blue route? Don't even follow it because that route will not lead you to the destination as fast as possible. As you can see, there's a small left and then right again. Let's go straight, shall we? Oh, my... <laughs> I forgot the Horizon trees. Well, the Horizon 3 trees are definitely not as destructible as... Many of the trees are in Horizon 5, so some of them can really, really damage you. And uh, that's that's just uh, one example right there. No, 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 no. Oh, no, this is, this is a disaster, guys. This is a disaster. I've just given more examples as to why the Horizon 3 trees are a menace to the game. All right, here is our next race. Horizon presents East Suburbs Circuit. I believe this is held around Byron Bay. Oh, no. This is a team race. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, for those that don't... And I'm starting last two. Last to first challenge, maybe, with the full lobby. Is it possible? Man, let's let's find out. Now, for those that don't know, there were team races in Forza Horizon 3 and 4. And um, it's just like the Trials event. Um, you better hope that your teammates that you have are good for you to win the event. Now, the good thing is, in Horizon 3, it was XP-based. So, as long as you still win, or at least place high in the position, you still gain a lot of XP. And, of course, to win the entire championship, it's all XP-based. Now, in Horizon 4, the only reason why this was so looked down upon with team races is because you actually only won if your entire team did well. So, it wasn't individually based towards the end. And that's why in Horizon 4, everyone hated it until Playground Games changed it, which is a good thing. One lap, I've already gone from 12th all the way to 5th. And man, I, I don't know if my car is actually fast enough compared to these actually modified cars. This guy in the green, he is everywhere and he's gone off road this is a circuit race buddy so he's stay on the road but it does it does good for me because he's, he's on the red team and uh let's see if i can catch even my own teammates as well this is a nice little circuit i i must admit it's nice and easy the flow is very nice scenery is very good it's like an australian suburb this mercedes here i do not want to bump you remember in horizon 3 there's none of this prediction collision ghost mode or whatever you want to call it this is just pure racing at its finest and um i don't want to be hitting anybody really unless it, if it's the guy on the red team I, I i might be inclined to do that i'm gonna cut a little bit off road despite me making fun of the guy that was well off um i'm just trying to take advantage of this race all right i have just beaten my teammate please don't bump me too much this guy is kind of drifting is he doing that deliberately Oh my gosh, he, he is... Oh, sorry. I'm coming through. And I am in first position. Let's go. The pressure's on. Don't make a mistake, Eric. Nice and easy. There's 2100 XP for ultimate skill chain that will go towards the championship at the end. And first, what a close race. That was a very good race. Now, as much as I would like to tell you guys that I won the entire championship, but missing out on one entire event, along with driving to the first destination, proved to be a little bit too much for me. Despite even winning the final race, as you can see right here, placing in first position in another team event. But anyways, 
I had an absolute blast on Forza Horizon 3, but I think we can come to the conclusion for today's video that Forza Horizon 3 is still alive and kicking and is far from being dead. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it does really help me out. And of course, if you would like to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon related, be sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.